Hey, welcome back. So this video is being done at the request of Crazy Rich Asian from Discord. And he had asked me to do a video on these things. I assume it's he. Um, he had asked me to do a video on a couple questions that he had in regards to Grayscale, the bull run, uh, things related to that. He had asked specifically, and I'll try to address all these, um, you know, it's like, what's the right mindset to have about the trust during the course of the bull run while it's going kind of full swing? Uh, do I have any concerns about things? Do I believe in the, you know, have a belief in the projected outcomes, like the projected returns that, that we've talked about and discussed on this channel and uh, other channels? And, um, you know, do I have any regrets? And also, like, my thoughts on, you know, could it really change lives? All that kind of stuff. So I would say yes. Like, I'm going to kind of swim around and, and, and answer these separately here. I would say yes, it can change lives for sure for the better that's my hope that's why i started doing videos on this stuff because it's like you know i knew about the grayscale trust i knew what they could do you know from last bull run from my experience and i was like you know what a lot of people could benefit from this stuff they could benefit from uh, what i consider to be an incredible investment it would change a lot of lives for the good so i was like i'm going to start putting out video content on this kind of stuff and and drawing people in getting more people familiar with this stuff because a lot of my viewers had have have never been in cryptocurrency before they've never been in crypto before and they've never been in grayscale before and so it's a brand new thing for them and so it's you know it's uh it's it's it, this is good i'm really happy about this because i think it's going to benefit a lot of people a lot of people for sure um now how much it benefits people like that depends on our projected returns right and i'll talk about those in a minute first let me talk about regrets that I have, I've got some regrets. Like I recently made the decision, you know, last month, last couple of weeks to basically sell off a bunch of my stocks and ETFs and rotate those into LTCN to increase my LTCN bags. And I'm glad I've, I've done that. I'm happy that I'm doing that, but I regret not making that decision last summer when prices were a lot better on LTCN. I, you know, I'm having to pay a lot more for them now, but still I look at it and I go, it's still a good return. And it's a much better return than if I would be buying later. Like last bull run, I was buying some shares of LTCN for as high as like 50 bucks, you know, going into August of, of 2020. And that was expensive. You know, in hindsight, I still got a great return, but it wasn't nearly as good as what, you know, I'll be able to have this time around. And I, I think there are a lot of people on Discord and watching this channel too, you know, would, would probably wish they had seen my videos and started investing into these funds three months ago, six months ago, nine months ago, because the prices were so much better on LTCN, BCHG, GXLM, basically every trust that's out there. So, but we all, you know, it's all hindsight and all we can do is get better. Like every crypto bull run, we get better. We get better at buying uh, in terms of like what price we buy at, when we buy, and we get better at selling, how we sell, when we sell, for how much we sell, all that kind of stuff. We just get better and that's all you can ask of yourself is just to get better every single time. So not a major regret, but yeah, I do wish I could go back and, uh, you know, sell some of my stocks and ETFs off months ago, get better prices on LTCN purchases, but you know, you know, bygones are bygones and I'm just going to let them be because I'm happy still with the return that I think I can get on LTCN buying in at the current share prices. So, so those are regrets, um, and concerns. Let me talk about concerns that I have, I guess, you know, my biggest concern is like, what are we going to see in terms of volume, especially on the secondary trust? I'm not really worried about LTC and a BCHG. I think those are going to get a lot of traction. The volume should be pretty healthy to support all of us cashing out. Um, you know, I don't see a problem with that. I do have some concerns about some of the other secondary trusts like GXLM, HN, ZCSH, ETCG, and MANA, especially MANA, and especially FileG. Man, I've talked about FileG, but I... I would worry about FileG and MANA probably the most um, as they have, I think the lowest liquidity. So you gotta be really careful about getting in there, like how much you put in, how quickly you cash out, all that kind of stuff. Cause you don't wanna lock all your profits into a, a, a low liquidity trust. You just don't wanna do that. Um, so just be advised. I've talked about this before in my videos. Th those are my biggest concerns. I guess about um, the bull run. I'm super excited about it. It's, it's very hard to wait. It's very hard to wait. I know it is for all of you to wait. It's just, it's a little painful. I would like to skip ahead. But somebody told me, you know, uh, this is several years ago. And it was really sage advice. And they, you know, because I was like, you know, I wish this were happening or I wish, you know, three months from now is right now. And they said, don't wish your life away. 
And that's really, it's good sage advice because life isn't all about making money. I mean, money is a great part of life, but don't wish your life away. So don't try not to, try not to think about it too much, but I swear to God, it's like every, uh, I dream about the crypto bull run now and about the trust in the cryptocurrency on a regular basis now. And it only started after I was asked at like a month ago on a live stream, if I dreamt about this stuff and I was like, no, cause I hadn't been dreaming about it. And now it's like my brain is switch gears and I'm dreaming about it. So I would like, I would like that to take kind of a back seat, you know, cause uh, it's not too good to think about things uh, too much. You know, it's like, you just got to set it and forget it you know, and uh, move forward. So anyway, so those are some of the concerns I want to talk about. Okay, in terms of mindset during the bull run, I'll talk about that. And then I'll talk about do I believe these numbers and why I believe these numbers, the, these potential returns could be hit. Okay, so mindset during the bull run, um, I, I think is really important to like, I think it's important to in advance, get your shit straight and figure out a plan for like how you want to sell, how you want to cash out, how to pay your taxes, all that kind of stuff. What's your, what's your game plan? You know, figure that stuff out now. It's a lot less stressful if you do it now and, and, and you have it ready to go when the bull run comes, because when the bull run comes, you're going to be like full on adrenaline. All of us are going to be looking at our portfolios and seeing them skyrocket. And you know, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a really exciting time. We're going to be, you know, it's like, we're going to be in this period of anxiety as we approach, you know, fall, because we don't know exactly when LTC and a BCHG and anything else kicks off. It's, it's, it's all kind of a mystery. We're all going to be kind of waiting on things. It'll be interesting to see how things go and interesting to see how things kind of play out, but you got to be ready to go with your plan. And, um, you got to be ready for that adrenaline rush when things are, are busy, when things are crazy. So, um, be ready for that. Also during the bull run, you know, it's like the, the, there's the same diamond hands. You got to have diamond hands. Well, it's like that. That's a good plan when prices are low, like right now, like don't sell out now. We'll sell out later when prices are high. But once you get into the bull run, don't have a mindset of diamond hands because some people, like if you watch the movie Dumb Money, where people invested in, in, in GameStop, well, you know, they they saw the price skyrocket and they, they didn't sell because they, they're like, this thing's just going to keep going higher and higher and higher. And that's, it's a really dangerous mindset as a seller. Um, and actually you're not even a seller because you're not selling, you're just hold, holding on tight. You don't want to have diamond hands at that point. At that point, you need to have a, a plan to figure it out, like how you're going to exit and exit with the, the best possible profits, right? So figure out the plan for that in advance. <clears throat> So you're not caught off guard because none of us too. It's like, also, if you want to cash out some or all of your portfolio at high prices, like none of us knows when those things are going to come. Those things, those high prices could come very soon. If you look at the price chart of Ethereum classic of the ETCG trust from last bull run, man, the highs came pretty early on, but, but, but other cryptos, other trusts, they didn't. So we, we never know when they're going to come. So, but you have to be ready and, and you have to shed the diamond hands and be willing to sell at a good price, take profit along the way, right? However you want to cash out, however it is that you want to do it, figure out a plan for it and just execute when the time comes, execute and make that thing happen. Because uh, if you don't cash out, man, you lose the opportunity to see incredible gains and then you got to wait till the next bull run, right? And you don't, we don't know what the returns are going to be next bull run. It, it could be worse and it could be not as good as this bull run. I think this... Like I've said, I think this is the last great bull run because we have the best opportunities right now. The grayscale trust still intact with the ability to have a premium plays in, in place. I don't, I, I, I would bet that next bull run, we're going to have ETFs in place for Litecoin and Bitcoin cash, you know, and, and that'll be really good for both those cryptos. They'll, they'll both, I think do very well because they have ETFs, but we won't have the premium plays, which are, I think probably going to be superior to what, <clears throat> you know, we'll see from the ETFs next bull run. So just, that's just my thoughts. Okay, so um, those are some things to think about during the, during the bull run. Some of the mindset stuff. You got to keep your shit together. Also, understand that the bull run is not going to last forever. This is one of the danger periods. Like, so for, for example, last crypto cycle, LTC and a BCHG ran for it was like seven months or something. I think it was like seven months or so. You can check the charts and check it yourself. But it was seven months. And the, if you're not selling every day, you're not selling every week, you're not doing kind of like a reverse DCA, like I've talked about, like on a regular basis, it can, you know, 
you can just like, you know, after, after the initial adrenaline wears off from, from seeing the initial pumps, well, you can get a little lackadaisical about selling your stuff off because it's like, well, the prices are just high. They're always high. They're always going to be high. Like it, and it, it it's not going to be that way. It's not. So you need to like basically bust ass to execute your plan to sell your shares. However it is that you want, don't get caught up in like, well, it, we have super high prices. It's just going to stay this way. That is not the way the crypto markets work at all. You have a limited amount of time to get in at good prices and a limited amount of time to get out at good prices. And then they're going to go back to low prices. So like, that's the way it works. So, and a lot of people are caught off guard. And I feel like that's probably a lot of the buyers that come in to support the market in during the course of the bull run is they're not really familiar with the crypto bull run. I mean, and so they're buying in at high price points and, and they probably hold on and they probably end up selling low you know buy high sell low is probably what they end up doing i don't know but uh yeah so those are some thoughts so let me talk about what i think i, I gotta have my sheet here to to reference what i think about like believing the price points believing the possibilities because this is this it help is going to determine like how much benefits each and every one of us how much of it how much of a return we get is going to determine how much our lives are impacted in a positive manner. So, so let me just talk about LTCN and BCHG. I mean, <clears throat> you know, estimates for LTC, Litecoin itself, you know, are, I've seen up to like reasonable, reasonable levels up to $2,600. You know, some people think it could get up to 5,000 or even $6,000, but I think reasonable is probably 2,600. And, um, you know, Caesar kind of thinks that too, that that's reasonable for a high that we could get there. But, you know, in, in a lot of the estimates I've been doing here, I'm assuming a $1,000 Litecoin price, which is lower than what Caesar thinks we're going to get to. It's lower with, than what Charlie Lee, Litecoin creator, thinks we're going to get to in this bull run. It's, it's lower than a lot of other people think. But a $1,000 Litecoin price, that's Litecoin is like 60 bucks or something right now. So it's like a 16 next move or something. I'm not going to do the math, something like that um, to get up to a thousand dollar price point. If we have a thousand dollar price point and we have a premium on the fund on the LTC fund of 10, which is what we had last crypto cycle on average. Well, <clears throat> you know, that kind of returned from now. And actually I printed this out yesterday. Prices are slightly different today, but it's probably about like a 70 X from, from where we are today you know, with prices on LTCN, probably about there. So, and that, you know, that's, that's like a conservative, I think estimate, a conservative estimate is a 72 X. And that puts the fund price like at a, a top point of like 860 bucks. You know, last cycle, it got up to like 500 or so. And uh, now if we only have a, a $1,000 Litecoin, a top and a 10 X premium, we'd top out at 860, you know, or thereabouts. And, and this is conservative. Like, I, I think we can do better than this. I, I think, I mean, it's like, you know, some of the, we could probably do almost, you know, the top end of what Cesar is thinking for LTCN, it, we could probably, or LTC, we could probably <clears throat> get up to like a $2,600 Litecoin probably. And, you know, then we're, we're pushing like a 200 X return and that's the tippy top. Like you have to be realistic and go, okay, let, let's say that's the, let's, let's say that's the top, like a 200 X or like even a hundred X. You can't have the expectation that you're going to be able to sell off your whole portfolio at the tippy top because there's a lot of competition at the, at that top. Right. And, um, and it's like, there's, I don't know how many buyers would be there. If there's not a buyer, you're not going to be able to get the price that you're looking for. It's not going to happen. So this is why it's like, you can't, unless you have a really small portfolio, you're not likely to catch the tippy top of what the expected range is. However, it, you know, it's, I still want the top to be high, as high as we can get it, because it means that the fund price on average during the course of the bull run might be 40 to 50% of that high point. So we might, you know, we might have really, really good prices. Like if, if we see prices of, 
you know, eight hundred dollars to a thousand dollars for LTCN during the normal course of the bull run, well, then it's probably game on for like almost a two hundred x from here, you know, a popping up to like a uh, a two thousand dollar or more price on the LTCN fund. So I, you know, I believe these are possible. A lot of times too, it's like I I've done a lot of videos like in the past where I've talked about like even just doing a fifty x return. A BCHG and LTCN, and those are like hyper, hyper conservative, like those numbers, <laughs> hyper, because I was like, I, you know, I want to maintain like reasonable expectations, because who the hell knows what's going to go down in the bull run. Those are hyper conservative, you know, and that's like, those are probably like getting up to like a six hundred dollar Litecoin price, like a two hundred ten x on LTC, you know, and with a, like a ten x premium, it's probably about what I was talking about with like a fifty x from the point I was talking about those you know, when I was doing videos on that, um, BCHG, same thing. Like, you know, we had seven X premiums last bull run. I expect those to come back. They could be higher. They could be less, but I expect to at least see seven. That's what I would expect. And if we, you know, if we see a, like a $5,000 Bitcoin cash price, well, that means the high point is like a 90 X from here. You know, it's, it, you know, that's, it's, it's a long ways, right? It's a high point. And maybe if we're lucky, we, uh, on a regular basis, we see 40 to 50 X from here as a normal price in the bull run. And that would put the fund price, you know, around 120 to 150. Like if it were just kind of in that range or somewhere close to it during the course of the bull run, well, that's a solid return. Even if you're reverse DCA over the, you know, several weeks or days of the bull run and not trying to wait for the high, um, I know there are some people that want that are reserving some of their portfolio to try to reach the high, and that's you know nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna try to do the same too, but I don't know how long I'll wait. Like I if if I have to wait past the end of next April, uh, man, it gets really dicey because I don't I don't I don't know when the bull run's gonna be over for LTCN and BCHG. You know, it's it could be around that time, so it gets a little dicey. But yeah, so I think these, I, I think the returns are reasonable to expect. Obviously, we didn't, nobody has a crystal ball. We can't guarantee anything, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, they're huge returns and it's, 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 it's unbelievable. But, but, you know, one thing I do, like when I, when I start to question, I'm like, is this believable? I look at like the five-year chart, the multi-year chart of LTCN. And I look at where it went to and what it did and where it hung out at for most of the bull run on a consistent basis. And I compare that to where we are now. And I go, there's a, we have a long way to go, you know, and, and I, you know, by all, by all, everything we can tell, you know, we're going to go beyond that, which is crazy, incredible, crazy, awesome. So really good returns. I think, um, you know, like I said, we can't guarantee anything, but I think there'll be really good returns. You know, I think I've said like that, I think this is the last great bull run. And for a couple of reasons, one, we've got the trust that might not be available to us next bull run. We have the premium play that comes in to play with the trust this cycle, and we might not have it next cycle, probably won't. And then also we have this, you know, there's a lot of excitement with Bitcoin, uh, specifically with Bitcoin ETFs with a lot of people getting on board getting invested in a Bitcoin through the ETF specifically. It's going to, I think, just bring in a lot of additional interest from the public, from retail investors, from institutional investors, from family offices into investing into cryptocurrency in general. And they're going to look at things like Litecoin, Bitcoin, Cash, all that kind of stuff. Whether or not they find the LTC and the BCHG trust, I don't know. I hope they do. I hope they look on YouTube and do a search. <laughs> They find my videos and the videos from, from other people where we're talking about these things, um, you know, but we'll, we'll see. I think, I think it's going to be a really good bull run and uh, I think we'll be really happy when it's over, but, uh, but you never know. There are no guarantees in life. Like one example of this is BCHG, like it, it, it underperformed uh, and Bitcoin cash underperformed last bull run. A lot of people had high hopes for it and it didn't perform. But I think it's got a shot this time, you know, that I think I think it's going to be able to do that. I think it's, you know, based on the stuff that we've seen out of technical analysis and just stuff in the world where Bitcoin Cash is being adopted, um, that it is, you know, further, you know, by merchants and stuff where it is. It's like it's like the number six or so 
uh, crypto that's used for transactions. Litecoin, I think, flipped Bitcoin for the number one crypto, number one spot for transactions, which is really good for Litecoin. But Bitcoin Cash, I think, will do really well. But ultimately, we are going to find out. We are going to find out. And I'm going to be, you know, it's... <sighs> The high points that we could see in the bull run ultimately are going to be better determined or they'll be easier to determine, I think, <clears throat> when we have a couple more months behind us because we want to see what the spring brings, you know, the Bitcoin having. We want to see what the summer brings and the early fall leading up to the bull run. And that's going to be really key and, and kind of refining estimates as to what we think these cryptos can do. So it's in, obviously not an exact science. Everybody's trying to guess, you know, uh, with their best, you know, estimated guesses, right? Just, a, I guess, educated guesses as to what things can do. But I, you know, I think things are going to go well. I do feel, just to wrap this up here, I do feel like that. I mean, it is, I, there's one guy on Discord, I've mentioned this a few times, you know, he brought up, this is like a month ago. He brought up, he said, I feel like I've discovered the cheat code to escape the matrix, you know, and it's true because, you know, th these kind of returns, you don't find them in most assets. You find them in cryptocurrency, you know, you find them in native cryptos if you pick the right ones, but you don't find them outside of the crypto space. You, you don't. And, um, you know, but you get them in, in the grayscale of funds too, you know, and it's like it, with the premium plays, man, it's like you can take, we can get really nice returns on Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash, and then we can amplify them with the premiums inside the Grayscale Trust, and it's gonna benefit us big times. So anyway, so that's that's the video. So that, uh, again, this video is requested by Crazy Rich Asian on Discord, so thank you, sir. I think it's sir, um, uh, for the suggestion of this. If you guys have questions, suggestions for other videos, either leave a comment below here, or join Discord if you haven't already and leave them in the video suggestions channel. All right, I'm gonna end it here. Hope you guys are doing well. It's, as I said, we got a long ways to go. Take a deep breath, soak it in, and uh, plan, plan. Like plan how you're gonna sell, plan how you're gonna be, plan how you're gonna use your profits. Like just plan. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Take care.